So unfortunately, I don't think that women are being told about the potential dangers of getting implants. And women should be warned that implants do degrade over a certain period of time. And because of that, breast implant surgery requires maintenance. And at least every 10 years, you need to be getting them replaced. So think about it like this. Having implants is like having a car. <laughs> You, sure, you could, you know, buy a car and not do any of your oil changes and not bring it in for any of your maintenance inspections and you could drive that thing till the wheels fall off. But let me just tell you, honey, yeah, you don't want to go there because like a car and doing that, your breasts require maintenance and you have to go in and actually... What most people don't know, and I never even knew when getting my implants, is that the FDA requires, or not requires, but they recommend that you go in for an MRI to check for a silent rupture, which is your implant just kind of breaking down within the pocket. You might not even know it. You might not even feel anything or see anything wrong, but it could have ruptured your implant and you could be experiencing problems from that material leaking inside your body. And um, so yeah, you need to check for that. And the FDA requires that after three years and then every two years after that. Um, and like I said, I have never been told about this and most people don't even know about it, but it would be nice if your our surgeons would like send out a postcard like they do at the dentist and say, hey, you might want to check your boobs because you could be running a flat and yeah that's not good um, and then oh also I wanted to add is that you know it, it, you don't necessarily have to have an implant uh, pop or um, rupture to experience problems from your implants so be forewarned that that is something that can transpire. And then the other thing is that, you know, there's so much medical technology out there and with breast implant manufacturers now putting the RFID chips into implants as kind of a tracking system, um, it's, you know, surprising to me that they have not incorporated some sort of technology in order to let them know uh, what's going on with your implant and whether or not it's ruptured or intact and you know people have pacemakers and those devices communicate with the outside world I don't see why it would be so far from the scope um, to have some sort of technology technology in which it would let your surgeon or you know that there's a problem in your implant and it's ruptured so I think that's something that the implant manufacturers should try and kind of look into incorporating in their future patents. Um, and then also I think patients should be warned about the, the chemicals and neurotoxins that make up breast implants. Um, I don't think most, most people know that they're made out of silicone or saline, but most people don't know all the numerous chemicals and including neurotoxins that are in an implant. And basically you're sticking a huge foreign object inside your body, right in there next to your heart and lungs. And so I don't know what could possibly go wrong with that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you might want yeah. to be informed of that risk. Um, and it is kind of, scary when you think about it. And lastly, women should be warned of the symptoms and signs of BIA-ALCL, which is a special form of cancer that women can get from, and it's only found um, in women with breast implants, and it's a cancer of the immune system. And so um, this is a new finding by the FDA, is that there are 400 and something cases of women who were discovered to have this special type of cancer um, and it, it occurs within the scar tissue that surrounds an, a breast implant. And so women should be more informed about that and um, know about the risks and you know, 
be informed as to whether or not they want to accept that risk.